Hey guys, Bob here, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and today I thought I'd give you a quick video on how I harvest my rotifers. I've already harvested some, I've got one bucket left to harvest, and I do about eight liters minimum a day. So I wanted to show you what I'm doing, and let's get started. So I've already harvested these three, about six liters, and I'm going to harvest this one now. I'd like to pull it out, and I stick uh, a pitcher which holds about a little bit more than two liters, but it has the two liter mark. And I like to set that there and turn this on and just let it fill up. And I leave the filter running at the same time so the uh, rotifers will stay suspended in the water column. I'm told that if you don't do that, uh, you turn the filter off and there's no movement, then they'll start to raise to the top because they like to go to the light. They're attract attracted by the light. So if you do this, it keeps them moving. And then you fill it up and you go to the next step. And I'll show you that in a second. So here's step two. I've already, like I said, harvested six liters, and you will see here at the bottom of this sieve, there is that green right there. That is actually the rotifers mixed in with, you know, maybe a tiny little bit of phytoplankton. I normally do this one by one, do one liter at a time, but today I'm going to do uh, the full uh, eight liters into one because if I don't have a customer to come get them or a store that needs them for that time, I fill it up and put it in my own tank at home, and then uh, I can just keep feeding my corals that way. It gives me a fresh supply of food. All right, I have here just a Chinese takeout food container, and I use that to bring my uh, rotifers home. Now, if I was going to package them, it'd be one liter each into a 16-ounce container with some Fido, but since this is going in my own tank, I'm not as picky about it. I will uh, drain off the remainder of the water, which might take a little bit, uh, this, this is eight liters worth of rotifers in there, and you can see as it drains down, it gets a little thicker. So I'm going to just let this go for a minute and move it back and forth, let the water drain out. Here's the fun part. So I'm going to put this over, and you can see some of it came out, and a lot of it's still trapped on there. That's what this comes into. do. It's brackish water. It's a mix of uh, approximately 20 parts per thousand salt water and I'm going to clean off the sieve and get all those rotifers into the cup and I'll show you what this looks like. That is eight liters worth of rotifers and I'll show you what I do next. Just because this is going to my own tank at home and I do like to dose phytoplankton every day, I just put a little bit of fresh phytoplankton in there as well. That's why the water is much greener and this will not go into my tank until tonight. I want it to go in uh, right when the lights start going down because I want to give them every opportunity for the corals to be able to eat these guys. I don't have larvae in the tank, so the corals absolutely love it. I've been doing this for oh, about five, six days now, and every time I do it, I get a great feeding response from the corals. Uh, I, I never knew that, that rotifers were such a good food for corals. The next thing I'm going to do is add in two liters each into each of these buckets, uh, half fresh, half salt, so again, 20 parts per thousand, and that will fill them up, and then I will feed them. Okay, I got my water mix. I'm going to put that down just for a second so I can pull the lid up, and you'll see that the water is kind of low in there right now. See, the bucket is getting a little bit dirty, but I just changed out the bucket yesterday, so I'm not going to wipe, wipe down the sides yet. But I am going to add my water in, trying to stir up or anything at the bottom of the bucket to come up, so that it'll go through the filter, and then I'll put my lid back on. Then it's just a matter of feeding it, but I already fed it. Uh, I forgot I did that before I started this process, so I won't be feeding them this time. However, I will tell you what I do is... I feed them the RG Complete from Reef Nutrition, and I do six milliliters, uh, five to six milliliters, twice a day. And uh, early morning and then early evening, I like to do that then so that they have their food for the day. And it seems to do really well, and I'm growing them quickly. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I will continue to post uh, the things that I do and try to help people learn how to do this stuff. It's much easier than people think. Uh, phytoplankton is super easy. Rotifers are semi-easy. Copepods, I'm still learning. So uh, as I learn that, I will share that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. I'm Bob, a.k.a. Mr. Reef Safe.